This podcast was created by fans for fans and is not affiliated with or sponsored by Hallmark or the Hallmark Channel. This is Eric. This is Sydney. And this is Hallmark Mysteries. And more. Well, hello, Sydney. Hello, how's it going? You know, it's going pretty well. It's very, very nice to have Sydney in the house. Woo woo. Yes. So Sydney, anything uh new and exciting going on oh, for you? Because you haven't been around much last I know, few Eric. weeks. I'm so sorry. You know what? <clears throat> it's been it's been crazy. And you know all about this because I've talked to you about this. Well, first it was the house, and you were like, oh my God. And now I'm in my I am in my second trimester of pregnancy, so I can say to everyone, yeah, I was, I'm pregnant. So I was, the I'm mystery solved. To, whew, yes. I've been, well, maybe our, maybe some of the listeners already probably. <laughs> the, the, the mystery of Sydney's absence. Yeah. I had to take like August off completely because the nausea was just terrible and it's still kind of around here and there but Eric has been gracious enough to hold down the fort and not give me <laughs> any trouble for well, being a slacker you know what though I do have to say Sydney I had two kids I had no nausea whatsoever uh, so you, you didn't know. have it at all any uh, no. <laughs> when when they needed money or anything well, in their teen years and now they cause a little bit of nausea but yes no like, not yeah. as, as in, in those pregnancies I thought it was kind of easy so I don't I don't know I don't know what's uh going on with you but yeah I'll let you slide on this but no very yeah. very excited very excited thank you yes yeah. so um hopefully we're on the mend and I won't be missing much but you know how that goes and um, also totally unrelated, but I just wanted to bring up to you since bring this up to you since you are also a huge fan, but, uh, spirit by jewel is celebrating its 25th anniversary. So that album that my hands are small <laughs> yes. came out 25 years ago. <laughs> so it does make me feel a little old half a lifetime ago for me, but oh, well, yes. It is so good. It actually came on and uh, I don't want to say it caused a fight between my wife and myself, but um, <laughs> uh, what was it? Was it, I forget what song actually came on, but then she was just, you know, or I was, I was surfing through the station and I, it came on and I stopped on it. I was like, all right, I'm good. I'm good. And then she started surfing again. I'm like, wait, what? So I went back and I'm like, yeah, no, we're, we're going back to Jewel. I think it was what, what, what's girls. the song the you were meant for me is that the actual song title oh there was that one and then there was like foolish game right but I think that was the one that was on the radio when I oh okay. I went back that was the OG hit that was gets or, me every... or no was the OG hit who will save your soul yes yeah okay all yes. right and then yes, it was yes. you were meant for me okay well now we've got it all figured yes. out yes so I uh I definitely have a more appreciation for jewel than my wife does but my wife's big deaf leopard so you know kind of like our tv watching isn't the same oh get this i'm at work uh yesterday mm -hmm. and one of the guys comes up to me and he made some like hallmark joke to me and i'm like wait. and i'm like wait, wait 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 what's going on what who, who's telling you what and then he so he said oh yeah shannon uh um told me about your podcast and so then I went over to Shannon. I'm like, Shannon, what you, you giving me downloads? What's going on? And she said, yeah. she, like, she just like coincidentally found us. Oh, so nice. I'm now like the talk of my office with my, uh, of course, it it's not like my team knows about it, but, um, and it's probably not the biggest secret since I do, you know, I have Hallmark on my TV in my office, you know, half the time. Yeah. So today was a pretty good day. It was Julie Gonzalo day. Um, Ooh. it had what, what the, um, Ottoman Vermont, I think it is the one with her and Benjamin Ayers. And then, yes. um, the, uh, 
oh, oh crap what was the other one it's a pumpkin pie one no that was on the other day um oh darn i forget it it, it was like some romance it's when when uh chris mcnally oh she's a baker that's what it is and chris mcnally is like the doctor who comes it's back the her valentine's boyfriend. one right it's like it was from the i think it was from a valentine's maybe but uh so, that, so then that one came on it was background for me because i was uh having to do actually work but um yeah so i was seeing chris mcnally who, who who's a fine guy but i don't know he just does not seem like brain surgeon kind of guy to me i'm oh, excited no, though i know we're supposed to talk about our uh mysteries but i am excited for that was it like two two bedroom one bathroom one go or three bedroom one two bathroom one ghost oh that one looks pretty uh pretty fun to me yeah i'm i'm behind in my movie watching as you know so i need to catch up on that <laughs> okay well speaking of catching up it's like they released hallmark released their christmas lineup but for us it's Christmas already because we have the next four weeks, mystery, 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 mystery. So it's crazy. Super exciting. So today, what do you say we talk about the upcoming mysteries and give our like little preview thoughts? Yeah. Sound good? I would love to. All right. Well, why don't I'll kick things off with a little description of the, what is it? The Haunted Harmony Mysteries, Murder in G Major. Dun, dun, dun. So in this one, a new teacher at an Irish prep school is shocked to find a ghost haunting her house. She decides to help solve his murder in the house, oh, in the hopes that it will allow him to move on. And this stars Tamara Maury Housley, good old Irish name here, Ristard Cooper and Marco Grazzini. Yeah. So I have to say, this is one that I was like, when I first just saw like, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And then um, Andrea, when she was uh, filling in for you, she saw the preview and she's like, oh, it looks really cute. And now that I've seen the preview, I have to agree. Have you uh, I... got to see it yet? I have to say the same, like when we were talking about it just a little bit um, on the podcast before the last one, just really quick, it, I was like, eh, I don't know about this, kind of silly, but after I saw the promo and I saw her outfits, just a glimmer of her outfits, they were spectacular, her coat selection amazing it's giving me a little whimsical it's giving me you know irish countryside it's giving me a little bit of presence of love if you remember oh, yeah. her style yeah, yeah. yeah which i like that and the setting oh my god did they film in ireland do you know i'm pretty sure they did well it it, you, can, you can't fake ireland in british columbia like you can yeah. fake a lot of you know north america or whatever but you can't fake ireland well, I guess yeah. they, I guess they faked Paris in, uh, um, what was it? Uh, right. But they didn't pal. show it really. Right. Oh no. Summer Villa. That's the one where they faked. Uh, faked I guess it. South of France is probably easier. But yeah, no, they, they got to be over in Ireland because there's too much sweeping coastline yeah. and stuff like that. And Marco in that turtleneck blazer combo. <laughs> Very nice. Weirdly. shout out so if anyone doesn't know who marco is he was just recently in heart uh was it hearts in the game with uh aaron cahill yes or he's G1. from he's from virgin river too if any oh, of, he's another I one of the like virgin river some, guys i feel like he's a little bit of an there's an overlap between hallmark and virgin river watchers so or, well there's should be because half the cast of virgin river is in uh, <laughs> hallmark movies these days <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, I did find, so I also watched like they, they showed a sneak peek and I did watch that too. And I, I didn't love that part just because, okay, she's realizing there's a ghost, 
and she's like screaming and stuff but like in a ridiculous way and I thought it was like a little bit too campy but I'm like oh I definitely think this one has a little slapstickness yeah I was I'm I don't love like the campiness with the ghost aspect because I kind of feel like I want it to be a little bit more mysterious but either way I'm sure I'm gonna love it so yeah I would I would I mean obviously we don't know we haven't seen it yet Uh, we just seen you know 31 seconds but (laughs) um I, I I definitely think this is a comedic now granted it could end up being totally serious and drama and why we why we you know think it's it's a campy ghost it could actually end up being kind of a spooky ghost i don't know but i'm pretty sure this is going to be a a little more yeah of the fun comedic type mystery yeah it is based on a book series um if i had known that ahead of time i would have probably dove in and and uh read one of them just so I, I like to do that for when we know that uh these mysteries are based off the book but um I didn't really start you know researching it until yesterday uh there and I was like oh can't speed read <laughs> there's still time you, you yeah. can do it post watching <laughs> yes um well no because I've gotten a little so my daughter moved to Boston and So she's far away. So one of the things we're doing is we're doing a little book club and we're doing uh, the Hannah Swenson series. So we're right now reading the first Hannah Swenson uh, book together. She reads it on the subway on the way to work. And I read, well, I shouldn't say I read it. I listen to it while I'm walking the dogs in the morning. So a little fun way to stay connected. Yeah. Love that. So Well, should we dive into the next one? Let's (laughs) go where are we gonna go i say we have to go somewhere mysterious this is somewhere we were foretold about eric we were foretold about this place yes (laughs) um by the man the myth the legend (laughs) john christian Plummer. he gave us a hot tip that he was writing mystery island and what do you know that's the next movie mystery island where a London police psychiatrist, Dr. Amelia Priestley, needs to take a relaxing break from her stressful job. So her wealthy friend invites her to Mystery Island, an immersive murder mystery themed resort hosting a special retreat for the original investors. As the mystery game begins, tragedy strikes when the resort's reclusive founder is murdered. Amelia partners with local detective Jason Trent to investigate. This is starring Elizabeth Henstridge and Charlie Weber. Now, you've seen the preview, right? With the I have. Is the guy with the then the eye patch the one who gets murdered? I am I guessing. I think that's the eccentric rich man. If I ever saw, I tell you what. As soon as I saw the iPad, well, we knew we were in just because, you know, with Jonathan uh, teasing us all along. But once I saw the eye patch guy, I'm like, I am in. This is this is beautiful. This is awesome. Yeah, it's definitely giving like old, like feel to it, like the 70s or something where there's some ridiculous, like rich man on an island. But I do enjoy Elizabeth's British British accent. Oh lot. yes, that oh is nice. yes. <laughs> it, it's it's funny because an English accent usually I don't think of as being like all that like sexy or anything. Yeah, hers is good. Yes. So I don't know. I'm looking forward to it, obviously, because the writing will be great. Um, we don't know if the acting will be, but you know, let's hope so. So she was in, um, was it Christmas at the Plaza? And I, I really liked that one with her. So okay. there's that. And then Charlie Weber dudes from uh, uh, How to Get Away with Murder. So a lot of people liked that. My wife really liked that show. Um, yeah. So he seems to be able to bring it. Um, it's promising. Yeah, I, I like that. It just, by looking at it too in those previews, it just sort of seems kind of grandiose 
to me as well. It's not like our usual in the, you know, the little town with the bakery and everyone knows each yeah. other kind of thing. You know, this is an exotic island. I think, so the Powerball is up to like, I don't know, 760 million or something like that. I think I'm going to win it and build my own mystery island. Great. Will, will, will you come, will you come visit? Of course. In, How inaugural? else are we going to, well, I guess we could do our podcast like normal, but <laughs> yes. And if I get murdered, I expect you to solve it. Yeah, I'll bring JCP with me. Okay. And um and it'll give him great ideas. And Brennan Elliott. Well, you'll just have to bring oh, him my, along. Oh my god, did you see him in the Christmas promo? Yes, he's coming out again. Ooh, he looked so cute. And Nikki looked so cute. Oh my god, they were in like a little candy shop. It's so cute. Yeah, it's. I think it, I don't know if they've ever been in a movie before together, but they, they were in like the Gift of Peace or something. Oh right, last yeah, yeah. Year. How do I not remember that one? It's a oh, you watch I, a I lot did, of movies, Eric. It's well, okay. and I did. I didn't like that one, and it wasn't. It was only because I didn't like the premise of it. Him being like the counselor and hitting on one of his counselees. Yeah, that's I had. Tricky. I had a little power. That's one of the things I in in many hallmark movies when they do that that i just for some reason don't i just don't like that so yeah but i totally it was great agree. acting in the movie but yeah that just kind of kind of bummed me out yeah so yes yeah, so this one i say like between all the, the the grandioseness it seems like there's a whole bevy of characters it's bevy. a destination <laughs> you know it's our favorite guy there john christian Plummer writing it so yeah, this, this looks this looks exciting do you think he got like a little um side role like he's um a local man like bird watching in the trees if, or if he knew how to play his cards right he would have you know <laughs> we are talking to him um so we'll be doing a little bonus uh episode with uh interview with him um he's he's fortunate enough where he, despite the strike he's allowed to talk about the movie so we can ask him if he um if he is in the in there because like that will shorts dude who um was from the mm -hmm. he, he's the one who inspired yeah. crossword he would always make cameos in his and then and, nancy grace and so would, would al would roker do hers. and oh yeah al roker morning show maybe it's because they're like famous though so well, john's famous to us i yes well we're his fan club <laughs> Us and then that whole mystery one on one legion. So, yes. But, okay. Oh. Well, speaking of the of the small town vibe and yeah. the baker, and where my, are we going? My book. I'm going. I'm going back to. We're going back to uh, Lake Eden. And Ooh. you know what? I did solve a mystery because there's some of the inconsistency between Lake Eden and Eden Lake. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm reading the first the first book, which is. Uh, the chocolate chip crunch murder or something. I don't even know. I'm reading it and I don't even know what it's called, but it's the chocolate chip crunch. But in there, she just, she explains it. And the town is called Lake Eden and the lake is Eden Lake. So I think oh. that's why um, sometimes we see Eden Lake, sometimes we see Lake Eden and people are starting to get confused thinking Hallmark yeah. just couldn't get it right. I think they're just smarter than we were and totally got it right so there you go mystery yeah, explained <laughs> all right so let's talk about hannah swenson and zest for death Zesty. what a what a good one this one isn't a book though at least i couldn't find it in the whole uh list so if it is someone please tell us um but when i went through and looked at all the titles i did not see zest for death but they say the real estate business is deadly, but no one is more surprised than Hannah Swenson when her mother, Dolores, who we love, discovers the dead body of the homeowner and a regular customer of the cookie jar while house hunting for her sister, Michelle. Hannah is determined to get to the bottom of the mystery and is convinced that the prime suspect, Mike and the sheriff are focusing on isn't the culprit. Imagine that, Han Hannah going against Mike. 
Here huh. we go again. Yes. Okay. Okay. Hannah sleuthing becomes a family affair when Dolores becomes Michelle, a problem. <laughs> and even her sister, Andrea, who pays an unexpected visit to take part in the investigation. As Hannah uncovers clues, she slowly rules out suspects and is led to the shocking truth about the killer's identity. And of course, we know the stars Alison Sweeney, Cameron Matheson, and Barbara Niven. But who's coming to visit? Yeah, Andrea. I think everybody in the planet's excited about that because if you ever look at any of the comments and like IMDb uh, reviews, everyone's like, where's Andrea? Where's Andrea? Yeah, that's what I always say. But we did grow to like Michelle. Yeah, she grew on me the last. But we are excited to get, get Andrea back. And wait, something happened at the end of the last one. I don't remember. Something. Yeah. Something I, 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 I turned the TV off and I never wanted to see yeah. Hannah Swenson again. And I said, you go, girl. Uh, don't make a pregnant lady mad, Eric. I know. <laughs> that, was our, that was our one fight we've had. Or yes. Camp, Camp Hannah or no. Or Team Hannah or anti-Hannah. Oh so. gosh, that's probably why the sister grew on me so much because I couldn't stand Hannah. <laughs> that's good. Oh. That could be. So it we're going, a... we're going away from Hannah now. I'm gonna leave Hannah, and we're gonna go talk about another cook who I well, really wait, like. Wait, before we go, one question: Do you think they resolve and get together or not? I don't think they do because. It's acting like Andrea's coming for some quick specific reason and not to be part of her wedding. No, oh, I see. Not to be part of the wedding. Okay. All you right. know, it just doesn't give wedding bells, but they have to drag on this thing as long as they can, which is obnoxious. So, oh, by the way, in the books, Norman, I've discovered is like 20 years older than her and bald. Or balding like a comb over kind of thing. Oh god. So very different than our Norman. Okay. Let's leave Lake Eden because I yeah, know we're you, leaving. I know you're not a fan of Hannah these days. Maybe this one will make you fall back in love with her. We are going all the way to let's go all the way <laughs> to the best caterer in town. We are gonna talk about curious caterer fatal vows. When Goldie agreed to cater Tom's ex, Jessa Means, elaborate wedding, she didn't expect a dead groom and a missing bridezilla would bring her together with Tom again to catch a killer and find Jess. Jess as in Jessamine, starring Mickey Deloach and Andrew Walker, and of course, J.C. Dotton. J.C., J.C., but I'm like not loving how it says here, like would bring her together with Tom again. Like what they haven't talked since the last mystery. Are you kidding me? What is going on with these people? And then what? Like, why is she getting back together with Tom if she's doing her wedding? I don't know. And our friend, uh, Jonathan did not write this one. It was another writer for this episode. Yes. So, I don't know. What do you what do you, what are you thinking? So, from the promo stills and the previews that I've seen, everyone looks great. It seems like there's a new detective in town that wants Tom out of the way. I love that Goldie has decorated the clue board with flowers and vines. <laughs> Goldie and Marla look great at that party. I'm loving the emerald and navy. Flawless Hallmark Lady Curls. Oh my God. They just do their hair so great. It looks like they've put Goldie in the perfect olive-hued trench coat. And also, did you notice that, I don't know who she is in the grand scheme of things, but the friend in Picture Perfect, who was like a wannabe actress. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's in one of the promo stills with Mickey Deloach. So she's not Jessamine. No, I mean Jessamine was someone else. Okay. And, 
And this one I think is like, well, it could be Jessamine's sister because she looks a little bit like Jessamine, but she's with Nikki and kind of like, I want to say they're by a food tent and they're trying to eavesdrop on people. <laughs> the uh i'm looking right now through the picture and you're not kidding about the hair they are rocking hair in this one yeah perfecto but i just love that olive trench coat they were really given the mystery vibe there hey yeah i'm looking at her right now and yeah maybe it is a, she kind of looks enough like her you're right she could be a sister yeah but I was happy to see her again. And I'm always happy to see her husband, which by the way, he's in some new Netflix horror movie um, with Julie Bowen from Modern Family. All right, I'm also looking at the, the olive trench coat. Oh, man, we got to figure out who the stylist is for this because they nailed, man, Goldie. Every outfit is just fantastic yeah i feel like it's up a notch it's definitely up a notch from the first one but it's up a notch even from last which was up and yeah it was up a notch from it keeps getting first. better yeah yeah it must be the the power in nikki's getting like more budget for this one or something yeah so, but um because yeah they they got to be spending some money on her her clothes now what are you thinking of her hair because she definitely has like she's got some kind of a sweat bang but she's also got like the straight bang thing going and well she's had the bangs kind of going eric they've they've, but they've been, been they've been like kind of to the side whereas this yeah. one they're, they're kind of going straight and some of the like in the promo at least some of them are straight I, I think i've been seeing them a lot on her normal instagram though so that's okay. probably why where i'm getting it from but like you like it Oh yeah, it looks good on her. I love a bang. I'd be rocking one myself, but I just can't be bothered to take care of it in the morning right now <laughs> when I'm puking. All right. Do we think that Mason is getting dialed in and going to graduate from being incompetent, funny no. to just being funny? No, Mason's going to step in it because he's going to be with this new cop. I don't know who this new detective is that it has it out for Tom and is trying to arrest Tom and Mason okay. is going to be like, Oh, I don't know how to help him. Uh, Goldie help. <laughs> Just did that voice too. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, yeah. But we do, as we said, we're talking to Jonathan. We are going to be talking to JC again before this. So we can ask, uh, JC, a ton of these questions about the uh, the fashion in this one because this is this definitely looks style. I'm I'm excited because I I like how it's progressed and the first was sort of here's the characters. The second, I think we got to know them and just their their chemistry was so much better between them. I'm not talking like the steam meter chemistry, which did increase. I think. But mm -hmm. the um, just they, they were just clicking. And so I'm hoping that it continues. You know, it's a little bit of a curveball for a different writer, but I'm hoping that it continues. But I have to say, like Tom being the uh, the the suspect, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I, I feel like gosh, she's slippery had slope to get me. her husband out of jail. Now she's got to get her love interest out of jail. It's kind of like, who's next on the list? JC? I mean, yes. she's next. Well, she's Marla, gonna have to get Marla. Out. Marla totally looks like she would be, she would kill somebody. Like it'd be, uh, who ate the last, who ate the last scone? Dun, dun, dun. Well, that so, was a hard scone. Yes. So. <laughs> Okay. All right. So four mysteries in four weeks. There's not one that I'm not excited for. It seems like there's one that you're a little less excited for, but <laughs> I'm excited for all four. And it's funny because I've never been the hugest uh, Hannah Swenson. You know, Hannah Swenson always just sort of put in the middle. Yeah. Um, but like I say, based on that cliffhanger ending, I'm I'm down because 
I want her. I want her to be like, no, no, I'm moving on from you. <laughs> I don't think that will happen though. No. And you know what though? While we talked about those four great uh, mysteries in a row, that's kind of our Christmas present. We're getting a real Christmas present, aren't we? Yeah, supposedly we are. Yes, it's called uh, Mystery at Mistletoe Lane, which is also a book. So, but it stars some dude who we just kind of are excited to see in a mystery. Yeah, and I think you actually said this was something you specifically wanted to see. Yes, Victor Webster, the Wee. like, he's just the man's man of Hallmark. And I don't know. I don't know. That's me. I don't know. You. What do you think? I know you. You like. Victor. Well, from the sounds of it, he's gonna be. A, I would say a local handyman, and I have to say, <laughs> I'm not mad about that. Oh, there's bug. <laughs> You're gonna see him in his overalls. Yeah. I uh just with his hammer and his work uh get up and I don't know. <laughs> and then Erica Sarah, do you know do you know who she is? I am not familiar with that name. I did uh I did see it and I kept <laughs> my first thought was, oh my god, Erica Durant. <laughs> but that was not what it said. <laughs> so yeah. but that would have been cute would have been cute she was she was in lucifer with um uh amy um garcia there but she, she's an attractive uh she's an attractive woman so we are excited to see victor come in and they i don't think they've ever done an actual like they did the one with um paul campbell and and Tamara, where it was the something about the Santa Claus Lane or something like that. It was yeah. kind of it was kind of a mystery, but it really wasn't a mystery. It's like a Santa Claus stakeout. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Like that. Um like I, I don't know. If, I guess they that was kind of there, but this one seems like it's an actual mystery. So yeah. We'll see. Well, that's exciting. It is exciting. So that's going to be um, one of the, I think it's nine of the uh, Hallmark movies and mysteries um, shows that are out. So now do you, do you get into all the, the Christmas ones you do, right? I do, but honestly, sometimes because I think last year, and I don't know if it's like this every year, but because I can't remember, but there was a new one on every day. It was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And that's kind well, of just, I think there weren't there like, oh no, some of the weeks in the core thing, there was two on Saturday. Yeah. And yeah. I just kind of have to look at them and I'm like, okay, this one sounds like it's up my alley. So I'm just going to watch that. <laughs> well, you have a responsibility now you're watching for two. I mean, then maybe I'll pick a second one, but, uh, Last year, it was usually like, if I thought I liked something, I'd watch it. And then if I heard like people talking a lot about a certain movie, then I'd watch that one too, because it seemed like it was good. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm excited. The lineup, um, I just read it. I, I want to dive into a little bit more of it, but it seems like there's a lot of fresh faces on there, Yeah, which is exciting. Um, there's also... Um, Catherine Bell and James Denton, good, uh, good witch pairing. They're oh. in, uh, they're in a movie together. So I'm super excited for that. I loved them in, in Good Witch. Right. Um, the only one I had, well, there's two of them that I kind of had an issue with. Um, one of them had, um, oh, what's his name? He was just in, in the movie um, recently. He was in It's a Wonderful. The wonderful time of the year with Brooke Burns. Imagine that I mentioned Brooke Burns. Oh my God. Um, but his uh, Warren Christie, that's what it is. He's like 12 or 13 years older than his co-star. And I don't, it seems like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just too 
to uh no, I think that's... but that's just a little too stretching it yeah we're getting into like like, like daddy issues 1950s me. territory yeah. or something yeah, yeah. so i wish they would have just like i like both of the both of the actors i just wish they would have paired them with somebody maybe a little closer in age well, isn't that what i was saying to you like whenever that was i said like why not just make people age appropriate why are you always trying to make them younger uh, than they are I at some know. point it's not believable and you know I, as a hallmark lover i can only put on the rose glasses right. for so long until i'm like oh yeah my husband came in here and tore this apart when, when you're like when you're getting close to 50 and you're still finding love for the first time with your high school sweetheart and uh, yeah uh -huh. and there might be a chance right. you guys are going to settle down have babies what right. yeah yeah no. and sure. then uh no no mater is also i think he's like 10 years apart from his co-star and another one who you know i i like him fine i just wish they would have squeezed him a little closer and in, in age but yeah. Other than that, I can say I'm really excited because there's a lot of lot of fresh faces. Yeah. I, and I'm wondering if it had to do with because they're also all Canadian, so I'm wondering if it had to do with the strike. So they just had to get more Canucks going. But I don't know. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> but what we have is four weeks of mysteries, so we will be reviewing the mysteries after they air. Um, we do have, like I say, the bonus. Uh, interview with John Christian Plummer that will be next week and we also will have at least one with JC um, there are certain actors who are allowed and other actors aren't so maybe they can solve the uh, the strike and we'll be able to get some more so we'll see but we have a busy a busy month ahead so I hope you stay feeling well I'm very <laughs> excited to have you back and it's on to murder in major G or whatever that was. G major. And harmony and murder. Yeah, har was <laughs> harmony mysteries, murder and G major. That's Haunted har harmony. Ireland. If I could do an accent, I'd do an Irish accent. Shiver me that's timbers. Pretty, that's my, that's that's my attempt. I'll eat lucky. I'll eat, you know, I'm eating my blueberries now because it is the season, but. Maybe I'll switch and I'll eat some Lucky Charms over the weekend just to celebrate it. Well, they're magically delicious. So they are. enjoy that. <laughs> and on that note, as always, it was wonderful talking, Sydney. It was great talking to you, Eric. I look forward to recapping these beautiful mysteries with you. All right. Have a good night. You too. Bye. <laughs>